Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment of Health Professional Radio. Knowledge truly is power when it comes to women's health and reproductive well-being. And with 45% of pregnancies unplanned in the United States, access to birth control options has never been more critical. A new survey explores women's attitudes towards birth control usage, affordability, and overall beliefs. It reveals a disconnect between what women want and what their health care providers may be prescribing. Joining us now with more is Beth Badalino, RNC CEO of Healthy Women. She's joining us to discuss the survey results and the need for better conversations between women of reproductive age and their healthcare professionals. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Beth Banalino, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Beth, first off, why was the survey conducted and what are some of the most, I guess, uh, surprising results of the survey? Well, we did the survey because the numbers of unplanned pregnancy are still remain very high in the United States. With now more than more birth control options than we've ever had before. Um, And so we wanted to find out why is that? Why are we seeing such high numbers of unplanned pregnancies? And here's what we found out in our survey. We found out that 50% of the respondents were concerned with unwanted pregnancy, yet out of those 40% were not on birth control. So that is a huge, you know, yikes. Right. And then what we also found is that we need to better educate women on their choices. Um, 91 percent of the patients surveyed thought that effectiveness was the most important factor, which that completely makes sense. Um, If you're on a contraception, you want it to be effective. Yet there was a low level of understanding regarding what types of contraception are most effective. And in fact, only 26 percent of the survey respondents were aware that IUDs are more effective than widely used oral contraceptive or condoms. So that's another point that really kind of triggered healthy women is that there needs to be more education on contraception and contraception options. We also found that our survey identified discrepancies on what women want and what healthcare professionals think women want when choosing a birth control option. Why do you think there's such a discrepancy between patients and healthcare professionals? Why aren't they on the same page? As a practicing healthcare um, professional, I really believe, you know, having looked at the survey results, that there is a disconnect in the conversation. So better and stronger and smarter conversations definitely need to be had. Another thing from the survey um, that was, again, conducted by Healthy Women and with support from Sabella Women's Health showed that less than half of the respondents said that they even had a conversation on contraceptives with their healthcare professionals. Yet, 74% of the healthcare professionals that we interviewed were saying that, yes, we are having and discussing birth control with our patients. So there is a huge dis- disconnect here. You're having the patient saying they're not having the conversation on contraceptions, and then you're having more than half of the healthcare providers saying, yes, we are. We are definitely having discussions about birth control with their patients. So better conversations, more education is screaming from the survey that is still needed. And we're encouraging better communication between patients and their healthcare professionals. Women have to speak up and explain what they want and healthcare providers need to listen which also is taking into consideration a woman's health history because a woman's health history plays an important role in what in deciding what contraception is best for her. So making sure that we bring in that health history piece is really important when we're discussing contraception. Earlier, you talked about effectiveness being of a uh, top priority when making decisions about uh, birth control. What are some of the other factors that uh, women found important when choosing birth control? Yes, effectiveness was obviously number one. But we also found that some women prefer to have their menstrual cycles. And we know that some contraceptions actually um, prevent women from having their menstrual cycles. So understanding what your patient or what the woman wants in, in her contraception is really important and will help with that compliance piece, meaning will help her stay on the contraception if you knew, know what she wants from the very beginning and, and you're having that initial conversation with her. We also found out 
that um, 60% of the women that we interviewed reported that they prefer hormone-free birth control. Yet again, here's where the disconnect comes in. 64% of our healthcare professionals believe that their patients prefer hormone-free birth control, while the majority, 59%, recommend hormonal methods anyway. So again, understanding and listening to what your patient wants and making sure that the healthcare professionals prescribing what that person is asking for and will work for her is so important. As far as, I guess, a call to action is concerned, what are the next steps? What is it that you ultimately want? What we want is to raise awareness that one size does not fit all when it comes to contraception. We need to improve the conversation between patients and healthcare professionals when it comes to contraception and understanding contraception options and the need to develop innovative options. Women are constantly changing and evolving and we need our contraception to do the same. So making sure that we you know, focus on the importance of innovation and more options when it comes to contraception for women. Beth, what's the final key takeaway that you want our listeners to remember about the impact of these survey results? It's important to do your homework. As you're, you know, going to your annual women's wellness visit or your OBGYN, do some research. Understand if your contraception's not working, make sure you bring that up as part of the conversation with your healthcare provider. Let them know where you're at because every woman is at certain journeys. I always say it's a journey. Whether you're just starting, you know, starting to use contraception, asking questions on what might be best suited for you, understanding your healthcare history is going to be really important and making you sh- sure you share that with your healthcare professional when you're b- having that conversation about contraception and understanding all the options so that together with your healthcare provider, you can make the best decision for you. So do your homework, learn about the options of contraception. Make sure you share any health history that you have with your healthcare professional and then making a decision that's going to be the best type of contraception for you. Because again, one size does not fit all. We have a lot of options available right now, including IUDs, which in our survey, you know, 26% of our audience were not aware of how effective IUDs are, especially in preventing pregnancies better than oral contraception, and condoms. So understanding all the options is so important. And for more information, you can visit healthywomen.org. Beth, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Thank you so much. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Beth Benalino. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. And be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.